Hi, it's Marie Chantal, clinical audiologist and tinnitus specialist. Today we're going to talk about neuroplasticity and the good side of it, the bad side of it, and the gravity of it, and what it means for you. So neuroplasticity is a buzzword at the moment in tinnitus rehabilitation, um, which a lot of people have asked me to elaborate on. It is something, however, that has been very well known in the history of neuroscience. So it isn't actually something new, but it is something that people are becoming more aware of. This does not apply to only people with tinnitus. It actually applies to every human being on the face of the planet. And I'll explain why. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to morph, change and heal. So this is utilized in learning new things and also when recovering from illnesses. First up, we need to understand what we mean by neural pathways when I refer to this. So neural pathways in its simplest definition is how your brain is wired or trained to activate in response to stimuli or things in your environment, whether they are physical or simply imagined in your mind. Humans are essentially biocomputers with around 100 trillion neural connections. That's a lot of horsepower right at our fingertips. These synapses or connections in our brain are made weaker or stronger with experience, either mental or physical in nature. Similar to muscles in our body, the more we use or activate a neural connection through our experiences, the stronger the synapse will be, or the stronger the connection will be. Also, just like muscles in our body, new synapses can form, which helps us to learn new things and adapt to our environment. The good news about this is that it also contributes to the process of healing. So neuroplasticity opens the door to healing, even when certain neurons die or run amok, leaving the body inadequate or incapable of functioning properly in a certain way, the brain can literally rewire itself and find new pathways to exhibit the same functions. These are all upsides, the good of neuroplasticity. Now, what about the downsides or the bad? Because of neuroplasticity, your brain structure and function depends on your response to your experiences in your life, your behaviors and your thinking. In other words, your habits, thought patterns and ways of reacting to the world. All of these responses get etched and memorized into your brain. This means what you do repeatedly, both good and bad, literally gets wired into the structure of your brain. So here are some examples of the bad. Worrying about finances, worrying about your health issues, worrying about what tomorrow will bring, catastrophic thinking about your life, having a drink to unwind at the end of the day, replaying painful memories of a loved one's illness and death over and over and over in your head. These are types of neural pathways that you don't want to strengthen. And yet, with every one of those thoughts, that's exactly what you're doing. You're strengthening those pathways. The modern day human does this very often and typically without some sort of self-awareness training and intervention, they do it on autopilot. So it's an automatic habit. These neural pathways are therefore becoming hypersensitive and etched into our brain. Then we wonder why we have unwanted outcomes, mental or physical. Let's look at the gravity of this knowledge. The upside is you can turn this around and improve your mental and physical outcomes and your health symptoms by imprinting healthier habits into your brain, by activating more supportive neural pathways. The main message is this, the neural pathways that keep firing get stronger and stronger. The pathways that don't fire or don't get activated get weaker and weaker, or they simply don't exist in the first place. So there's an old saying in neuroscience, Neurons that fire together, wire together. This means that the more you run a neural circuit in your brain, the stronger that circuit becomes, just like a muscle. You work at it, it gets stronger. It's a simple equation. This is why there's another wise phrase saying, practice makes perfect. It's actually scientifically true. Therefore, in order to create a healthier life, healthier behaviors must be created. And that actually begins with training your brain to activate or create more supportive neural pathways. Whilst this is being done, the lack of attention results in the deactivation of the more unhelpful or damaging neural pathways, which results in their weakening and over time, the elimination of negative outcomes or symptoms. Essentially, redirecting your thoughts and your behaviors redirects biochemical reactions in your body. 
because they're actually firing different pathways in the first place. That's neuroplasticity in a nutshell. To end this video, here's a poem to help you understand the core of neuroplasticity. Watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become character. Watch your character, it becomes your destiny. And this is so true. What you repeatedly do, you repeatedly receive. That is the heart of neuroplasticity. So ask yourself, what neural pathways do you keep firing? Are they helpful or harmful to you? How can you change for the better? I hope this helped.